what's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Madden community? What's up, Team Hollywood? It's your boy, Hollywood Sports, bringing you another video. Guys, if you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video, and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I want to talk about sliders real quick. I got a new discovery. It's one I kind of got onto last year, but I really didn't get really into it. But this is something I think is going to be good with slider sets, guys. Now, in Vision, you know how we, we put the player speed parity at zero. I'm going to talk about that when I release my slider set. I don't want to show you guys my slider set yet. It's ready to go, guys. It's ready to go. Now, with this new discovery, it's even better. Okay, it's even better. Y'all want to hear what a new discovery before as sliders go? I'm talking to all the franchise guys, man. All the, the on league and offline franchise guys. Franchise guys, period, that work with sliders, guys. This is a new discovery, okay? Like I said, I worked on it a little bit last year, but man, I'm telling you, it works better in Madden NFL 23. And the slider I'm talking about, guys, is one individual slider. You need the rest of your sliders to go with it. Don't get me wrong. You need the rest of your sliders, and I'll give you that. I'll give you those. See, guys, I'm gonna release my sliders when the game is fully updated because I want to make sure the whatever they fix doesn't change the way my sliders are playing. So I may have to make some small adjustments. I don't want to put it out now and then say, okay, here's my version two set, and then do it again. Okay, I want to wait till they update the rosters. They, they bring out this patch next week. And uh, we'll be ready to go. I'm going to see how it's playing. Then I'll release my sliders. But the discovery I made, guys, is the uh, 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 the pass reaction slider. The pass reaction slider, guys, for user and CPU. For the user and CPU. Put that slider on one. Okay. Matter of fact, I got this tip one time called, from a guy called Neff, man. Shout out to Neff. He said one time in one of his videos, because he's good about putting putting ratings on guys. He's good about rating the game, the way the game's supposed to play, guys. He should be EA's rated, ratings guy. Not saying um, Guru don't do a good job, but Neff knows about ratings, guys. So he said one time in his video, shout out to Neff, when you put your sliders on zero, the game is saying the game is not reading nothing they're reading zero so the game will put an arbitrary number in there on their own without you even knowing about it so put one instead of zero okay put one so the game recognizes one that you input if you put zero that means the game's like zero we need to put some kind of number in here and then the game's going to arbitrary put a number in there that we don't know about okay so I don't know how true that is, but that's what Neff says. It makes sense to me. So just to make sure, put one instead of zero on pass reaction sliders, guys. It plays. Now, let me tell you what it does differently. I think the player awareness is truly there. I think the ratings for those players are coming out. It's not. The slider isn't getting in the way. We're truly letting it. You think you would do that with zero. I mean, we're talking about pass coverage. I'm thinking about speed parity. We're thinking about pass coverage now. You think that slider is in the way, guys. It's restricting the ratings. When you adjust that slider, you're, you're, you're putting those ratings in a certain box. Put that pass reaction slider down to one, okay? Put it down to one and let those ratings come out of those players, guys. Their reaction time, their awareness, those ratings will come out better. I've done it, guys. I've played a few games with different teams. I'm telling you, it's better. Every team reacts differently. I mean, it's not like it. they don't do it now, but it seems like game is freer. They're looking for work a lot faster. They're reacting a lot faster. I'm telling you, guys, the players look alive out there. Y'all think I'm joking. Oh, Hollywood exaggerating, man. He exaggerating, bro. Hollywood's capping, man. He's capping. He's capping. But I'm telling y'all guys, put your uh, uh, pass reaction sliders down to Z. I mean, to, down to one when you're making your sliders, and let me know what you think. Give me some feedback in the comment section. What was your experience, guys? Okay, I thought it played better. I thought the game played better. 
That's probably what I'm, gonna, what I'm going to use. But people, for people that don't want to use that one on the past reaction slider, I do have a set of numbers that I that I was using. Okay, I've tested them both, guys, and I think the one reaction past reaction sliders on one plays a lot better, than, and it frees up the game. You know how speed parity frees up the game as far as speed separation? Well, I think it uses that same concept when we put the slider on one for pass reaction. The ratings come out in these players, guys. Their reaction, you know, play, play, uh, get, uh, play reaction slider, right? Awareness slider, those, those sliders come out, okay? <laughs> those sliders come out, guys. So uh, yeah, that was my announcement, guys. Put it on one, let me know what you think after you played a few games and and give me some feedback on what you guys think all right um i'm hollywood sports thanks for listening thanks for watching and i will see you guys on my next video